just thought I'd let you have a little look what I've been spending my money on. Not often I listen to other people, normally go my own thing, but uh, I read Hen Henry Gilby's blog talking about these uh, bursted, bastard, whatever you want to call them, and search and rescue boots. I decided to take the plunge, so here we are. Um, I'm going to wear them from the start of the year now, so we'll have a review of them at the end of the year. Reason I'm just doing this quick video is I've just fitted some studs, um, super tracks they're called. Um, the, I don't know if you can see that, 1100 version um, of the best grip power stud, 1100. Yeah, got them off eBay, weren't too bad. Um, you get a little tool like that. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. Little tool for fitting them. Uh, Got a nice. I'll show you close up in a minute. Uh, nice, nice uh, little tool fits in there nicely. Good wide spread on the stud, so I think they're going to be great. Also recommended by Henry. Um, so he's going to be in a lot of trouble if these are no good. But uh, they fit well and they seem to be really sturdy. So I've done one boot. And I thought I might just uh, go over how, how to do it um, for anybody who's uh, new to fitting studs and uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, so this is the tool and this is the stud there. That just fits in there nicely, gives a good drive on there. So let's put some in. Now, I'm going to drive, I mean, you can do it by hand, but I tell you what, it will be hard work. But along to get the settings right on your drill, uh, as slow as it will go, with plenty of torque, but not too much. Um, just going to have to use your brains a little bit on that one, have a feel for it. One thing I will say is when you're driving it in, do it nice and slowly. Um, it will, when you feel like you're too deep, it will unwind slightly and come back. So go a little bit further than you, you think you might want to, but you're just going to have to try it on the first one. Another little tip. A little bit of spit on it. That's what I did anyway. Wet it. I think it seems to go in slightly easier. Um, and that will obviously dry out. So I think we're going to go in somewhere there on the toe so put plenty of pressure on nice and slow past where you want and then it comes back a little bit and if you look at that that is absolutely spot on perfect just very very slightly below very happy with that so it is as simple as that but i have had the practice on the first one where i got the tension right and the speed right so i'm doing we'll stick another one in the toe about there loads of pressure on nice and slow A bit deeper than you think and release yeah that's superb so we'll go on and do the rest of the boot so there we have it completed boot very happy with that um, I will be doing a review of these boots as well. Um, they look absolutely fabulous. They feel, I wore them before I put the studs in, luckily. Uh, wore them around the house for a couple of days um, with some extra thick socks up to make uh, up for the wader socks. Um, also, I will review the waders that I'm using on because they're new as well. I've had some Vision Icon waders, but looking forward to trying these. And uh, let's get out there. Onto the end of season review for the search and rescue boot from Bearstard. 
Um, what can I say? Excellent so far. Um, also, I've probably just uh, shown you the stud in, how I studied them. Um, not one stud has come out, so the studs are great as well. Definitely a good match with this boot. Not one stood out, no where to speak of, not one loose one on either boot. It's cracking, cracking. Bit of sheep shit on there, that counts. But hey, great boot. Comfortable, six hours I've done in them. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. Can't say anything bad about them really. We've got a little bit of rust. Uh, on the inside of these eyes here or clips whatever you want to call them it's got a little bit rusty on the inside of there you don't really need to see it you might be able to see it there but nothing otherwise as new nine times out of ten um, I'll give them a wash after just hose pipe them fill them with water let them dry now um, so they've been great no problems at all. Easy going to last next season as well. And probably another couple more. The only thing that has gone wrong, if you like, is the ends have come off the laces. So, what? Worst case scenario, we've got to put some laces in. But certainly not yet. Nowhere to speak of. Love them. Brilliant. Expensive, but good. Grip-wise, with this stud pattern, pretty good but still not quite as good as my old Vass. Um, they were, I think, just the best I've had. Um, I am going to drop another couple of studs in here this season, just in a couple of different places, and see how they go, because I've got a couple of spare anyway from when I bought them. So, yeah, otherwise, great boot. Wear it all day. Good grip. No problems at all. Go for it.